Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content we are currently putting out. At this point, we've pretty much got content going out every 48 hours. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the content and don't stay stuck with your business. So if you want to get more help in growing and scaling your, your soccer training business specifically, then reach out to me. There's two ways to do that. You can either schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call where we jump on Zoom. You can do that by visiting the Canonly link in the description of this video. Book your free 15 to 20 minute call with me. We can jump on Zoom. I can see where you're at, see where you want to get to. And I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale what you're doing. Now, if you don't want to do that, you want to send me a direct email, then send it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. I respond to every single coach that reaches out to me with regards to business questions. Okay, so today I want to share with you five important business net lessons you need to learn when you go into this type of industry, right? So if you are a coach who you're thinking of starting a coaching business or you currently have a coaching business and you want to get it to the next level, right? These are five lessons that you need to learn that will help you to grow and scale what you're currently doing, right? Now, if you are a really good trainer and you know everything you need to know about coaching, that's fantastic. And that's probably the first step before we go into this. Right. Having a lot of years of experience coaching, uh, also working with clients from all levels okay, is, is really important. That touches on experience as well. And also having knowledge within the, the performance and coaching aspect of, of this industry is really important because that's essentially what, what your clients are going to look for. Right. They want to they want to come to you because you are an, you're an expert at what you do. But moving aside from the training aspect of this industry and into, I would say, the more important side, which is something that a lot of coaches don't take time to learn. And essentially, this is what they struggle with with the most. Right. And this is why most coaches aren't getting their clients, they're not getting referrals, they aren't growing their business, they aren't scaling, they're not getting to the next level, and um, they're working too many hours during the week. It's because they haven't got these five things in place and they, they don't take the time to learn these five things that I'm about to share with you today. Right. So the first one is how to add value to your customers. So when I first started my coaching business, that was the, the first thing I needed to learn. I needed to learn how to add more value to the families I was working with, right? And you can see that I mentioned, I say the word families and not customers or clients, right? Families, because what essentially you want to do is you want to create a transformation with the families you work with and you want to be the number one expert in, this, in your space, okay? Customers, Today, especially in this industry of so many options, right? There's so many trainers out there, so many options. Uh, they can go to one trainer, they can go to another trainer, they can work with two or three trainers per week, right? But essentially the one that adds the most value is the one that, that parents are going to st stick with for the longest. And they're essentially the ones that are gonna, they're, they're going to stay more loyal uh, to, right? So you've got to learn how to add more value to your families, to your customers, to your clients, so that they stay with you for longer, right? In our in our company at Make Money Coaching Sports, that's pretty much something we 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 teach, right? We teach coaches how to create lifetime value, so that you aren't losing customers on a monthly basis. You're keeping them, you're retaining them, and you're keeping them for anywhere between six to twelve months, so that they can become. Uh, long-term clients and they can refer like-minded uh, parents and players to to your program who also stay with you for long for for long periods of time okay the coach that keep, that loses clients every single month is the one that ends up struggling and the one that ends up quitting uh, their business in the short term right so that's number one you got 
learn how to add value, make your program different to everyone else and separate yourself essentially from the pack. Right, the second one is learn how to sell. Right, so this is a lesson I had I had to learn. How do I sell? Right, so how do I get myself in front of prospects? How do I speak to prospects? How to how do I get them over to a free uh, evaluation or a free trial session with me? How do I then create an evaluation session where I can filter them filter that client out whether they're a good or a bad fit? Um, and then essentially, how do I close them onto being a, a, a client with me, right? So, but what I needed to do is I needed to learn how to sell. So when I started my business, I had to, to learn how to sell a free training session. Right? So what I wanted to do at the beginning, I just wanted to get parents to know me, to experience my training and to build trust with me. So I had to learn how to speak to parents, how, where, where, to, where are parents, so something, if you go back to previous videos of mine, I talk about this a lot. I used to go out to uh, the fields and speak to parents uh, on the sidelines during during tournaments, during events, during matches. And I used to get their details, sell to them, all right, and try to close them into a free training session with me. Then hopefully they can go from free free training session into a paying client. But I had to learn how to sell myself, how to talk to parents, um, what questions to ask uh, parents, um, what do they value the most as a trainer, okay? And what is their pain point, right? So what, what are they struggling with? And what is that number one thing that they need more help uh, with that their club, or any other trainer isn't providing for them. But the third one is how to market, right? So how to market my services, how to get in front of more, more parents, how to use social media, so how to use Facebook, how to use Instagram, how to use Twitter, how to create an email newsletter that, that, that sends out emails on a, on a regular basis and markets what I'm doing to parents, um, how to create, uh, a spreadsheet, right, where I can gather all the information that, such as phone numbers, um, contact information from prospects that I speak to. Put that on a data on a, on a data spreadsheet, and how can I then market to those parents in my local area? All right, so I had to learn how to market and how to get in front of of parents, right? And something I did at the beginning was I had to learn social media. So create content on a regular basis, talking about different topics that parents I know will, will want to watch and something that their, their child is going to be struggling with. Okay, And then how do I market and get myself in front of parents in the real world, right? Not just behind a, a screen and a laptop. So how can I go to events, speak to parents, uh, hand out flyers, hand out uh, business cards, right? How can I create a website so that I can use uh, SEO on Google to reach more parents, right? So I had to learn the marketing game. And essentially when I learned the mar marketing game, then I started getting a lot more traction for what I was doing, right? The fourth one is how to close, right? So this goes kind of hand in hand with the second point, which is how to sell, but you have to learn how to close clients, right? So you can you can invite parents to a free training session, right? You can run a, a great training session, but how do we then get that prospect into a, becoming a paying client, right? And the best way to do that is learning how to close clients, right? So how to how to speak to parents over the phone, how to build value over the phone, how to touch on their pain points. And also then how to sell that that your program is going to solve their problem. Because if you show that parent how your program is going to solve the problem that they're having with their child, right, then you'll be able to close them into your program and they will be, be become essentially a paid a paying client. But you have to learn how to close clients into either a three month, six month, nine month, 12 month commitment. So they become committed uh, to your program.
Okay, so that's the fourth lesson you've got to learn in this industry is how to close clients. Because essentially, if you don't have clients, okay, you're not going to be generating revenue. And if you're not, if you don't have revenue in your business coming in, then you know you you won't have a business for very long. Okay, so how to close clients is probably the most important thing. And this is very different to selling. Selling is essentially the communication. When someone shows an interest uh, into what you're doing, how do you build value so that you keep the attention of that prospect? The closing bit is now how can we turn that prospect, that interest into a paid client um, that sticks with you for six, nine, 12, or even um, longer uh, in your program. Now, the fifth one is how to create systems, right? So how to create systems. So systems in terms of your marketing, your selling, uh, promotion, your training, uh, your schedule. And these are all systems that need to be put in place so that your, your, your business essentially runs uh, smoothly and it runs under a process. So when I started my business, at first it was very much everywhere. OK, because I because I was figuring out my system. But now my system is pretty much very simple and it's kind of a freeway system. Right. So the first one is a parent gets in contact with my company. Right. They've shown interest. They want help. They've got their you know, they have a pain point. They've got in contact with us because they want to solve a problem. Second thing is we get them onto a, a call where I can get on the call with a parent, I can see where they're at, uh, where their child's at, what their child is struggling with, and then I can kind of figure out and filter out whether they are a good fit or whether they aren't a good fit for what I currently offer. If they are a good fit, the third step is now how can we then transition them into a trial session where they come they experience the training. I see what they like. Are they coachable? Uh, are they committed? Are they on time to the sessions? Do they work hard during the sessions? Right. And we figure out what are their goals moving forward. If that all goes well, then the fourth one is obviously we then look to close uh, the client. And what I have it, it's, it's, a, it's a system that I use with every single parent. Now, any parent that comes in, They'll fall under that freeway system where it's interest, call, uh, trial session, and then we close them into the program. So you as a trainer, as a coach, when you start your business, you have to figure out a way that you can build and create systems within your business that it just becomes, you know, second nature to you. Soon as a parent either lands on your website lands on your Facebook page, lands on your Instagram, how are they getting in contact with you? And then how are you turning that interest, whether it came through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever it is, okay, website, email, how are you turning that into a phone call? And then and then from that phone call, how are we, t well, how, how are we converting that into a, um, a free trial session, or it could even be a paid session. And then are we closing them into becoming a paid uh, long-term client? Right, so if these are things that you're currently struggling with in your business, get in contact with me. Two ways to do that. First one is uh, visit the Candidly link in the description of this video. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call. You know, I make it a mission every single day to speak with coaches. This is what I'm here for. This is what I do every single day. So book that call. We can jump on Zoom. I can see where you're at see where you're going to get to. And also, if you are a good fit, we do have a sports business accelerator program that we do offer coaches who are a good fit for what we, we currently offer. And if that is you, then we can talk more about it. If not, then you can also send me uh, a message or an email to my email address, which is makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? So those are essentially the, the two main ways that you can get in contact with me to talk about your business and get more help uh, from me. Right. Thank you for watching. Again, if you haven't, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.